The metropolis of Johannesburg was the venue for the crucial fourth test. Both teams were focused on the job at hand. England brought in James Anderson for Simon Jones, while Dale Stain returned in place of the injured Charles Langeveld. Mark Boucher came in behind the stumps, while A.B. de Villiers was preferred to Hashim Amla for the last batting berth. England won the toss, and they elected to bat. Well, that's a rarity. Pollock drifts onto leg stump. And Strauss opens his boundary account. Full-length delivery, this, from Sean Pollock, with a touch of swing, but he starts to swing roundabout leg stump. Well, quite early in the piece here, and Teeny coming round the wicket to Triscothic. Big gap there behind Square on the leg side, just the one man out at a long leg. So, Triscothic gets a boundary as well. Well, that'll make him feel a whole lot better. Well, it wasn't off the middle of the bat. I reckon that's uh, Sean Pollock wins that over by distance. Well, smashed away. Short and wide. You don't get many of those from Sean Pollock. Oh, the balls. Finally, the breakthrough comes there. It's been one of those mornings for England where they got away with it until now. Mark Stroskopic has been uh, out of sorts and has looked very, very vulnerable throughout the uh, first hour of play. And he's now on his way back. Overpitched and beautifully driven away for extra cover. Well, that's a great shot. That's overpitched, driven down the ground. And I think they'll get there, will get there. Andrew Strauss, his ninth score of 50 or more. Five 50s, 400s. His fourth score of 50 or more in this series. What a game it is. He's lofted that straight down the ground. And cleared it comfortably too. Cleared the ropes nicely. Oh, just over the top of the keeper. It's going to take uh, Robert Key to 50. Four runs uh, take him to 51. I think Andrew Strauss, in my opinion, has just got back. Well, a shake of the head from Andrew Strauss. Does that mean he's not sure? Or does that mean he thinks he's gone? It looks like he's well back. Andrew Strauss moves on to his fifth hundred in his 11th test and his third hundred against South Africa. They must be sick of the sight of him. Get out! And won't catch that one, that's out the middle. That's gone a long way. Gone, gone. Full length ball does it in the end. Graham Smith. Close in there at first slip. Robert Key would have been thinking about the short ball. Mikhail Antini, full of length, finds the outside edge. Well, Graham Smith catches a hot one. It's really got to him quickly. Well, he's very quick onto that. South Africa doing their best to defend the boundaries, but they're not succeeding. Got him. Quite remarkable. 
It's a tired shot from uh, Andrew Strauss. England 262 for three. Success for Pollock with that new ball. Well, there you go. Short ball, wasn't handled. And that is exactly what South Africa wanted. They wanted Graham Thorpe out, they wanted to use this new ball. They've got two wickets with it. The two umpires are having a chat. The England batsmen are offered it. They will take it. And that'll be the end of the day's proceedings. So after some superb batting from Robert Key and once again Andrew Strauss, England appear to have put themselves in a strong position going into day two. Smith does not drop many catches and Tini picks up his fourth wicket as the rain gets steadier. And you can make it three. Graham Smith takes another catch. Sean Pollock strikes. Grant Jones has gone. England 278 for seven. Vaughan's gone after that. Very good contact indeed. Up and over, four more. Well, it didn't take long for Dale Stane to pick up uh, Ashley Giles. Always a candidate in that area. Well, he died as he'd lived, Ashley Giles. Very, very positive innings indeed, 26 from 35 balls. There it is. Uh, Michael Vaughan's worked very, very hard for that 50. It's only his second in his last 12 test innings. And that'll be a big, big relief to him and to the England dressing room. Harmison on strike. Got hold of that. He's dropped it like a nine iron, just over long on. Boundary after boundary. It's in the air. Is it going to go all the way? It goes a long way over the ropes. This is England's record ninth wicket partnership in test matches, all test matches in South Africa. There's going to be more runs. That's going to go fine. That's going to go to the boundary. The pies is the, is the decision. England won't mind. Well, Steve Buckner has decided that it's too dark for the fielders. Well, I tell you what, I've seen it all now. It was another controversial bad light call from the umpires, leaving England to decide to declare on 411 for eight after the second day's play. It was now up to their bowling attack to carry on the good work. Whipped away through the onside, beautifully timed, that's the way for four. Very, very good shot from Graham Smith. Really has uh, sped off to the boundary. 38 without loss now. That's close. That has got to be close. Took a while. Graham Smith was down and finally was out as well. Well, finally Hoggard gets the line. Uh. 
well. He has got him, but he's got a problem. Ashley Giles has taken the catch. Matthew Hoggard has picked up his uh, second wicket, but that has not gone in cleanly. Big gap there. Palace finds it uh, no problem at all. That'll do it. 10 4 for Herschel Gibbs in uh, 53. It's his 18th Test match 50, and this is his 63rd Test. So from the air, but it's going to go all the way. Not in control of the shot. But it goes for six. Yeah! Wicket. Breakthrough. Jack Callis is the man that's gone. It's a big, big wicket for England. Yeah! Well, has it carried to Tress Gothic? It looks as though it has. England are claiming the catch. Everybody's uh, nodding their heads. And Dipinar goes for naught. That's beautifully timed. That's his natural game. De Villiers into double figures. Oh, up in the air. This time he must go, surely. Giles takes the catch. De Villiers with attacking intent. But he too, like so many other players in this series, takes the bait. Swept away, and it's gone for four. Well, there you go. Virgil Gibbs is back. It's 1400 in his 63rd test, his third hundred against England in his 13th test. Pulled away and beautifully done. The 250s up now for South Africa. Well, that's just a great shot. What a way to bring up your half century. 50 for Boucher. Well, well, well. What a bonus that is for England. Boucher's hit it straight to point. Strauss takes the catch. It's the end of the day, it's been a very long one for England's bowlers. But Herschel Gibbs, the hero for South Africa. South Africa had fought back bravely, with Herschel Gibbs at last finding some form to keep his team in contention going into the fourth day's play. Got to be close. Just the start England wanted. Matthew Hoggard gets a five wicket haul. Lovely straight drive this time. That runs away to the boundary for four. Boye's. Uh, Already made 20 off 20 balls, 3-3-3 three, three, three for seven. Well, this could be out. It is out. Well, Jimmy Anderson picks up his second wicket. Well, it's another one edged. There's no one there to catch it. Four runs. With a single, might look for two. Ricky Boyer wants it, now there's a mix-up. Well, you take your pick, who ends you want, you can have either one. England have gone the right way. They've got Nicky Boyer, and that was clever from Ashley Giles. He could have taken the bells off at his end. But he's decided the man that he wanted out most is Nicky Boyer. And that was a real mix-up, but clever thinking from England. 
Here's Anderson. Launched over the offside and four runs. South Africa trail by five. And Teeny. Well, he's just one of those tail enders who loves his batting. Giles, as he so often is, over the wicket. Yes! That'll do it. Giles picks up the final wicket and Teeny goes. South Africa all out for 419, so they lead by eight. He's got him. Mapirantini dismisses Andrew Strauss. That's the wicket South Africa are after. Strauss goes for a duck. How big a blow is that going to be for England? They're two for one. Confidently away, through extra cover from Rob Key. Half volley, still a half volley to him. He's off the mark. Well, that's overcompensated. Full wide of the off stump. Hammered through the extra cover area. Have taken. It's a very fine catch indeed. He was really searching for that one. And a quite outstanding catch. Dead straight. But the glove uh, is enough. He's punched it away for one. And the Marcus Truscothic is on to 50. Extra cover again. Scintillating stuff. Nicely played through the gap. That'll bring up Michael Vaughan's 50, his second of the match. He'll be a very relieved man. Played well, he's been positive. Michael Vaughan has edged that through in the very safe hands of Mark Boucher. Sean Pollock makes up for his earlier waywardness with an over here that has been absolutely spot on at the England captain. What a take that is! Jacques Callis. That's a great catch. Pure and simple, that is a great catch. Well, he's hit his head fairly hard on the way down Tintos gone for it up in the air it goes and it goes all the way Pollock thought he had his man for a moment well that was easy enough wasn't it I'm afraid that's a dreadful shot from Flintoff. He was expecting the bouncer again. Triscothic climbs into that. Fabulous timing. Played away through mid-wicket. Triscothic moves on to his 10th hundred. Magnificent innings from uh, Marcus Treskothic. Shots all around the wicket. He's had his problems in this series, but that's his second century. Steve Buckner doesn't like uh, the look of this light. Now, what are these uh, England batsmen going to do? What will they do? Are they going to get offered? Yes, they are. What do you want to do? We'll go off. Oh, listen to this crowd. The scorecard was a good one, as England ended day four, 189 runs ahead, after another fine century from Marcus Truscothic. Staying with four balls left from last night, where England went off for light. Perfect start to the day if you're a batsman. England 200 on the board.
Big shot. Great catch. Great catch. He loves that pull shot. Stavillia's out there. It looks as if he's going for six. Athletic fielder out there. Did he see all of it? It didn't matter. It stuck. Brilliant catch. He's gone for it. Up in the air it goes. And over the top, just. Well, it's finally uh, happened for him. Ashley Giles cannot believe what's just happened. It's an outside edge. He's gone. And Hoggard goes without troubling the score. 274 for eight. That's a great shot. That is a great shot, and that brings up Marcus Truscoffix. 150, moves on to 152. Up in the air, and over the top again, six more. 50 partnership comes up, Harmison has uh, scored just one of those runs, and Truscoffix races on to 179 not out. There's the edge, off goes to Scothic. Will Harmison go off as well, or will uh, um, will uh, Michael Vaughan change his mind? No, he won't. England have declared. That's a good shout. Up goes the finger. And once again, Hoggard strikes with that new ball. There's hope for England here. South Africa 10 for 1 in the fifth over. Fantastic stuff from Matthew Hoggard. Jack Rudolph bowled neck and crop. England are in business here. South Africa 18 for two. Edged. And he's gone as well. Very first ball, a magic delivery from Hoggard. is too good for Jack Callis. 18 for three. Twenty-nine for three. There's his fifty. It's in glorious style too. That's emphatic. It's lovely to watch Herschel Gibbs, oblivious of the uh, situation in the match, has just gone to fifty of seventy-seven deliveries. Off the edge, and he's done it again. Hoggard all four wickets, Dippenar goes. He was out there for 69 minutes, but it's all over now. There's a noise here, and Hoggard's the man again. First time Matthew Hoggard's taken ten wickets in a test match, he's taken all five in this innings. Voucher goes for another duck. This field, nutmegs, I think they call it. Nutmegs. Yeah. He's got it, that's the next wicket, caught and bowled. Michael Vaughan's expression says it all. Well, he's uh, placed that away very nicely and timed it very nicely. Just uh, an innocuous-looking push, but he's brought him four. First two balls of the over have both been uh, just a little too short. Ashley Giles hasn't found his length yet. Ah, yes! Oh, he's gone! That is a huge bonus for England and for Ashley Giles. Propping forward, it's Ashley Giles, who's uh, struck from nowhere. Great bowling by Flintoff, he's done it. Fantastic bowling from Andrew Flintoff, he really softened Sean Pollock up. 
and then bowled him a magic ball. South Africa eight down, England just need two more wickets. Sean Pollock troops off the field with a headache and only four against his name. There's a teaser attempt and he gets it away through mid-wicket. Goes all the way, four more and Teeny. That's close. That's out. Flintoff's the man yet again. How many times does he do it for England? Wide of the crease. Hits and Teeny in line. It looks pretty close. Yes. Graham Smith moves past 50. He's on to 52 with that boundary. Third 50 of the series for South Africa's captain. Well, up goes the finger, England have done it. They've beaten South Africa and go 2-1 up in this series. Graham Smith is left stranded on 67. And Matthew Hoggard has done it for England. 7 for 61, his figures. No doubt who's man of the match here. Matthew Hoggard takes England to victory. They're ecstatic, the players are ecstatic. England can't lose this Test Series now. Graham Smith is dejected. What an effort from the South African captain. A stay of two hours and six minutes. But it's not enough to save the game for his country. It's England who are the victors here. A career best for Matthew Hoggard. First time he's taken ten wickets in a match. He's picked up seven wickets here. Seven for 61. England are home, 2-1 up in this Test Match Series. A simply superb bowling display from Matthew Hoggard sealed an unlikely win for England on the final afternoon. Their first win at the Wanderers for nearly 50 years.